Welcome to another application development tutorial for Android. In this program we're going to create a game or a simple dice roller. You click the button, it'll show a picture of a dice and tell you what you rolled. So we'll learn some graphic image imports and also we'll do some random numbers. And so those will be the new things that we'll do in this Android tutorial. Let's take a look at the finished product that I've created. Inside the app folder is a place called resources and inside there is drawable. You can see that I have six pictures. These are all images of dice. So we're going to take the first part of this tutorial to show you how to create and edit images and import them into your program. Then the second part of the tutorial is we'll actually program this simple game so that you can see how the Java works as well. So I'm going to go find some pictures on the internet so I don't have to redraw everything. I'm going to search for set of dice. Choose images. And then under search tools, I want to make sure that I use the usage rights set for non-commercial reuse. That way I know I'm not violating anybody's copyright. And so you could pick any of these pictures and use them in your program. One that I'm looking for looks like this good example here, a simple set of six pictures. And you can see from the URL that it comes from Wikipedia. So I'm in good shape. I'm going to view the image. Now the first thing I have to do is know where this image comes from so that I can edit it online. I could use Photoshop, but I'm going to use an online editor that is free to use. Pixlr.com So let's go to Pixlr and choose their web app editor program. It's an online version of Photoshop. Notice here that it says I can use an image from UR, uh, URL, so I can go directly from this URL here on Wikipedia, copy it, and I can choose to open that URL and it will bring up my picture. So I paste in my URL to the picture and there it is. Now I need to cut out each one of these pictures and put them into an individual file. So I need to crop or copy and paste. So if you're familiar with Photoshop, you'll see that we have selection tools and I want to make sure that I get a perfect square selection so I'm going to choose constrain the aspect ratio that way when I make a box around this dice I have a perfect square both the width and the height are the same size so my width and height over here are at 130 yours might be different now I'm going to go to copy this and I'm going to make a new file a new image and I'm going to choose create the image from the clipboard, the one they just copied, and res reserve the transparency. And so you'll see the new result shows that the transparency has been preserved. I've got a clear part of the background and I have a 130 by 130 pixel picture. This will work perfect. Now I haven't clicked anything else. I'm still on the marquee tool so I can slide this marquee over to dice number two repeat the same process. So copy a new image and now I have image 2. Let's go through all of them this way. Now that I have each one of these I need to save it. So let's go to File and choose Save. So I'm going to use the ping format here because it preserves the transparent background. And let's name these things. So now you need to put this in a place. I'm going to simply use my Downloads folder and rename it as Dice1. Do the same for all the others. Let's start a new project in Android. Let's call this thing Dice Roller and choose your application level. I'm going to use Empty Activity 
and main activity is fine. Okay, so once your project has been created, it's time to import the images. So let's go choose this button here, Android. Look inside the res folder, and we're going for drawable. Now if you click here, you notice it's empty. We need to go to our file explorer, or in Macintosh, it's called the finder. And search for your downloads area and you should see the last six things you've downloaded so I'm going to hold the shift key while I select the first and the last item I'm going to copy these so right click and choose copy then go back to drawable right click on drawable and choose paste and it's going to say this is going to be pasted into your program directory which is fine it's going to be copied and so now we have six different items in our drawable section. So we'll take a pause here and we'll get into the next part on developing the interface and the program in the next video.